From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night here on Evening News LA Late. As 2023 stimulus checks pass, and we'll go over these huge stimulus checks for you, it's a combination of three years of stimulus, and they're absolutely wonderful. Over $100,000 per person, and many viewers of this channel, members, are getting nearly $200,000. We're going to go over the, all these incredible sums of money in tonight's broadcast, because in 2023, stimulus checks does not mean they're passed in 2023 for 2023. No, they've been passed over the last three years, and there's over a half a billion dollars of stimulus still coming to you tonight. We're going to go over all these incredible checks category after category then we'll go over every check one at a time and then we'll go over to the latest details on how to get to all these incredible checks it's a big broadcast and we have a breaking new tale details tonight the membership newsletter is heating up because now you can get those incredible stimulus checks instantly at news.la.com forward slash newsletter go right in and apply and pounce and get all these incredible checks landing across the board We'll go over how they became law, then we'll go over each incredible checks, A to C, E to K, L to Q. We'll go over the membership newsletter. We'll go over the latest details of small business stimulus, children's stimulus, and more. But A to C and E to Q all have the incredible same eligibility. They're for anyone who made less than 75000 last year, that's you. Anyone that's a married couple that made less than 150000 last year, that's you. And it's passed. Congratulations to the viewers of this channel who have cleaned up and have gotten these checks this week, this month, and this year. And there's more coming across the board. Plus, we'll go over the latest details on how to get these incredible stimulus checks and then the breaking news details as well. The Consumer Price Index was released. We'll go over the latest details of what that number showed. We're going to break the components down. Then we'll go over the latest details on where we're going this week with two banks reporting corporate earnings tomorrow, which will give us guidance on this recession. Two major bank heads have said we are in a recession. And minutes ago, the leaders of financial markets met in Davos, Switzerland, and they had their guidance on what they believe is inflation's solution. It's great news and it's breaking tonight. Yes, the financial leaders in Davos, Switzerland says one of the major causes originally of inflation may be gone. Oh, wow, this is exciting. It's breaking news tonight. The markets are all closed for financial uh, for Martin Luther King holiday on Monday, but Davos, Switzerland is alive and kicking with a lot of snow. <laughs> the breaking details all starts right here, right now, on America's Most Loved Show in prime time for financial news. It's evenings. Good evening, everybody. From the shores of San Marco, California, happy Martin Luther King, ho King holiday. The markets are closed because of the holiday, but the financial leaders are in Davos, Switzerland, and they spoke about inflation solution, and it's fascinating because of what we talked about initially on this channel. Over this broadcast, we're going to go over big stimulus checks one at a time, category after category. We're going to go over the breaking details out of Davos, Switzerland today. On a Monday, even though the financial markets are closed because of MLK holiday today. And we'll get a guidance on where we're going this week because there's a series of major twists and turns heating up this week. But from the shores of San Marcos, California, where the rain has finally stopped, my deepest prayers for the people of Arizona because you're getting our snow, you're getting our rainstorm next. He's up tonight's broadcast. How are you? I hope you're having a beautiful day and thank you for joining me. On LA Live in Prime Time, America's most watched show for financial news, and this is LA Live, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, three channels across the board. Tonight, we go into the latest details of those 2023 stimulus checks with understanding that when we say 23, it doesn't mean it was passed in 2023. It's paying in 2023. A little bit different. Let's go with the details of it starting right now. All you care is am I getting a check in 2023? You are. If you pounce, as a purple hawk. And the laws that were passed in 2020, 2021, and 2022 are paying you in 2023. Why? Because once a law is passed, it continues to stay a law unless it has an expiration provision. These don't generally. And as long as it still remains funded, and these are still funded, and that is incredible great news. These 2023 stimulus checks are huge. We're going to go over first the categories of them, how they became law. Then we'll go over each check one at a time. 
Then we'll go over how to get these incredible checks. We'll go over the brand new checks. And then we'll go into the latest details out of Davos, Switzerland, minutes ago about a potential end of inflation. Oh, wow. It's an exciting broadcast. You did not expect this on a Monday, certainly. And let's look at the week as well. Tomorrow, we have Goldman and Morgan Stanley reporting corporate earnings and United Airlines. Huge coming up late in this broadcast, the latest details on inflation. But let's first start with those incredible 2023 stimulus checks. These 2023 stimulus checks, A to Q, all have the same eligibility. Let's look at that right now. Anyone who lent me less than 75000 last year, these are for you. SSI, you get a check. SSI, DI, you get a check. SSA, you get a stimulus check. Veterans, you get a stimulus check. So low income, you get a stimulus checks. But you got to pounce to get that incredible stimulus check. We're going to go over how to pounce in this broadcast. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board is the average tonight. First, let's go into how these checks became law. Then we'll go over each of the incredible checks one at a time. And then we'll go over that membership loser. You ready? I'm so ready. Let's look at those first three checks, A to C. They came from Joe Biden. In spring of 2022, you may not have heard about them because they were not a mainstream media. In fact, I had them the night they became a law. Executive action established the first three stimulus checks, A to C. And my members have been getting them since March of 2022. Stimulus law, federal stimulus, every U.S. state. My members have been getting them since 2022. And you have to listen and learn, pounce and pay, and become a stimulus scholar and a payment PhD to get these incredible stimulus checks. Those are stimulus checks A to C. We'll go over A to C in just a second. But let's look at the next category of checks heating up tonight's broadcast. E to K. These came from Congress. And they passed these incredible checks in spring of 2022. Did you hear about them then? Probably did not. And again, if you didn't hear from LA late, you didn't likely hear it. Not in your local news, not in your cable news, not in your papers. I found these incredible checks, and viewers have been getting them ever since. And after that, I found more checks L to M, N and O, and P and Q. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in this broadcast. But let's understand A to Q all have the same eligibility. These are stimulus checks if you made less than 75000 last year. Mary couple if you made less than 150000 last year. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSDI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSA. These are stimulus checks for you, veterans. These are stimulus checks for you, low income. And these are stimulus checks for stimulus scholars, for payment PhDs. People who know nothing, learn nothing, read nothing, get nothing. That's the way stimulus always was, and that's the way stimulus is right now. But you're going to get big payment because you're going to learn how to get these credible checks over this broadcast. Let's go on those first three checks, A to C. We're going to go over how much they are and then how you get these incredible stimulus checks. A to C. These incredible A to C checks were passed in early 2022. And they are really quite beautiful. Congratulations to Spelly, who got stimulus check A, and also Lynn Glenn's family member. $6,500 to $12,000. What a wonderful, wonderful stimulus check. How do you get it? You become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP. Join this channel and get stimulus check A. Wow. But when you become a member, make sure you get that beautiful stimulus check B. Fifteen to 80000 But why stimulus check B even more important than that? Because this is the stimulus check that's paying you on average 18 months, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. A 24-month recession is about to start any month within less than a month away, and you need 24 months of monthly stimulus checks. I don't have 24 months. I have 18 months for you. And this is fast stimulus, $300,000. Let's go over the details of it right now. We have viewers like John Maloof and others who have gotten these 18, 18 months of incredible stimulus checks. You need it because it's going to be a 24-month recession. And again, this is stimulus check B. And again, this is the same eligibility as A and also C. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. This is federal stimulus from the federal government. Has nothing to do with where we live from. These are 2023 stimulus checks passed in 2020, 2021 and 2022. Now let's go into stimulus check C. Stimulus check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. I have great questions coming to viewers all the time, and one of the questions I got recently is, I'm a renter, which check can I get? You can get A and C, because some people are getting rent from, excuse me, excuse me, B and C, because some people are getting rent from B and C, not just from C. But let's look at the success stories of you have had with that incredible check C. It is just wonderful. Do you want $30,000 of rent? I think you do. Go around this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP. 
Go into that membership newsletter, pounce, and get these $30,000 of rent stimulus checks. I've been doing this for two and a half years, since spring of 2020, and I've been getting people checks when there wasn't a lot of money around. And now, I'm getting people big sums of money when there's lots of money around. you got to pound to get these incredible stimulus checks. These are not automatic. People who do nothing get paid nothing. People who learn nothing get get not, literally nothing. But tonight, that's not going to be you. Tonight, you're going to become a PA, payment PhD, a stimulus scholar. You're going to go on this video, become a member, and listen to this entire one-hour broadcast and learn and earn how to get these big sums of money. That is $30,000 of rent. Next up, $15,000 of utilities. Well, Mark was at $6,500. He taught his brother-in-law how to do this. That brother-in-law got $15,000. And here is that snap. That same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations of checks. Nisi listens and learns really well. She's in all the broadcasts, watching and listening and taking notes. She has gone from 23000 to 50000 And here is Mark. He was at that beautiful 32000 the last graphic. Here he was. Then I said, Marco, get snap. He went to 50000 Then he went to 100000 Then he went to one sixty six. because he got check B. And here's Lorraine. She was at 105000 She went to a beautiful 150000 Dragon is a triple member to all three channels, and she has gotten 170000 Again, this is not $170,000 for people just looking at a mailbox. No, no, no. Standing by a mailbox, handing a, holding a donut. People do nothing, learn nothing. And people who just listen and look and around and don't do anything get paid nothing. Now, how do you do it? <laughs> How do you do it? So step one, you go on this video, become a member, subscribe, hit that bell so you have all notifications set to all on, and make sure you subscribe to all three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. This is America's number one most watched financial news network for the subject matter since 2020. I got viewers over $15 million for this incredible money. And it's number three overall for all financial news. After you become a member, join on this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cassie, and VIP. Now you can go into that membership newsletter, instantly without a blink of an eye and pounce and start getting stimulus checks in february 2022 i recorded that the u.s economy would be going into recession starting in february 2023 and i said it's going to be a two-year recession and it's going to be very broadly felt and it's going to be hardly and it's not going to be a soft recession at all membership of this channel immediately said well if that's the case i like give me some stimulus checks and i did at the time in february 2022 i had a triple mandate number one Big checks because a two year recession is 24 months. It's not a three month lockdown because of COVID in 2020. This is a 24 month recession. And I found it 18 months of stimulus checks on average. Next, broad eligibility. I need to make sure you get stimulus checks because I care about you. I'm not here just to record about one people, one city, or one group of people. No, these are stimulus checks for you if you made less than 75,000 last year. That's it. Third, ease of being able to get them. And then immediately I put them into a membership newsletter. So you don't have to research them. You don't have to take notes. You don't have to listen to the video and just sort of miss something and replay it. No, I put it in a membership newsletter. But I delivered that newsletter in one location initially, and now it's in a second. Initially, the membership newsletter is delivered from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. Then I thought, wait a second. What if I had a way for a member or a person to become a member right now while watching this video and going right into the newsletter while the video's playing and following along. Brilliant. And then it was created by me because I care about you. In December 2022 is my Christmas gift for me to you. The membership newsletter is now in a second location and that location is a website and as a website, it is always open. It never closes for any holidays or any weekends and it is news.la.com forward slash newsletter. To make it even easier, I don't even ask you to remember that address or write it down. It's on the top of the chat. It's in the pinned comment. It's in the description of the web of the video. That website is all over this video. There it is, news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Click the link and go right in. Grab the password from the most recent post for members on this channel and go right into that incredible newsletter and go down to stimulus check A and then B, and then C. But hold up, wait a second. The graphic says E to K and out of Q. Do we have more stimulus checks coming up? We do. And without a delay, let's continue into those other stimulus checks, E to Q. 
This is fast stimulus, 18 months, $300,000 across the board, big money, and you deserve big money. Let's now continue into those other 2023 stimulus checks starting right now. Those other 2023 stimulus checks were passed by Congress in spring of 2022. And again, if you did not hear it, guess what? It's not their obligation to tell you about, about it. The way that Congress works is they pass laws, and their job is not to tell you they pass laws. It's your job to find it out. It's not job, their job to send you automatic money. It's your job to apply for the money. That's how stimulus was passed originally in 2020. Did you get over $100,000 of stimulus from this channel in 2020? Well, maybe you weren't a viewer then. Tonight, you're going to get it if you listen and learn, and you are eligible. Let's pounce with those incredible checks, E through K. E through K came from Congress right after Joe Biden in spring of 2022 and immediately went into this membership newsletter and this recording, and viewers have been getting them ever since. Let's look at those beautiful stimulus checks E through K starting right now. Stimulus check E is a beautiful $7,500. Wow. Stimulus check F is a beautiful $4,000 stimulus check. Just incredible. And then we got more stimulus checks thereafter. Those other stimulus checks all day, all week, all long is G, 30% off, H, $2,000. I is a gorgeous $8,000 stimulus check for you, SSI, SSDI veterans. J, an $8,000 stimulus check for you, low income. And then K, a $14,000 stimulus check. Wow. So those are those beautiful stimulus checks, E to K, that came from Congress. Where are they all in that beautiful membership newsletter? Same eligibility as the other checks we've done so far. After E through K, I found you other checks because my focus is always helping you. And those are stimulus checks L and M. L to Q. L is $100,000 on the average of loan industry money. M is a $4,000 stimulus check. Wow. N is zero down payment, zero closing costs on a, excuse me, O is zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. And N, I love stimulus N. A brand new tablet, computer, laptop, free internet. Love it to death. Stimulus P is 3% in refi, and Q is an $8,000 stimulus check. Just absolutely incredible. So those are stimulus checks L to Q. A to C from Joe Biden, E to K from Congress, and L to Q found from me. For you, where? All in that membership newsletter. At news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Grab the password for the most recent post for members on this channel and go right in tonight into that incredible membership newsletter and start pouncing for these incredible stimulus checks. And remember, 2023 is a great year for stimulus, the biggest ever, because there's over a half a billion dollars of unpaid federal stimulus for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories in that membership newsletter across the board. Become a member tonight and get all those incredible stimulus checks. Now, in addition to those stimulus checks, the stimulus checks are, would you like a $26,000 per employee stimulus check? Well, that stimulus check are, it's the employee tax retention credit. And stimulus check R pays an enormous sum of money. Let's go over the details of that. Again, it's in the membership newsletter. If you had an employment employee in 2019, the pandemic hit in 2020, you kept them on staff. And then in 2021, you kept them on staff as the pandemic grew for three quarters you're getting paid $26,000 for that one employee in 2023. Yes. So this is how laws work. This employee tax retention credit is effective for 2023 based upon the events of 2019 to the present. And that's why we talk about 2023 stimulus checks in such a different light, because it's concerning the events of the last four years, and it's paying in 2023. 23. The employee tax retention credit, reach out to a tax preparer and go into that membership newsletter down to stimulus check R. It only became apparent in the last few months and it tees up now in April of 2023. If you had 10 employees in 2019 when the pandemic hit, you kept them on staff for the next two years, you're getting $260,000 of stimulus checks. 20 employees, a half million in 2023. This is all law. A to R is all law, passed, paid. Viewers have received and viewers will keep on getting more money. Have you become a member? Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. In addition to those stimulus checks, now let's turn to unemployment stimulus. If you're an employee as a W-2 and you got fired anytime recently, this is you, and this is for 2023 as well. Let's go over the concept of how it works and what you need to know across the board. Unemployment stems from a fired W-2 employee thereafter 
remaining unemployed for a certain duration, they're entitled to a weekly check. Let's go over how this works with the following example. Let's assume that you were an employee, a W-2, in October, excuse me, September 2022, and you got fired October 1st. Then you, by the grace of God, got another job in January of 2023. So are you entitled to unemployment? Yes, for the month of October, November, and December, when you were still a fired, unemployed W-2 employee. You're not entitled to anything for January because you got another job thereafter, but you're entitled for October, November, December. How many weeks? 12 weeks. A lot of checks? Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's 12 checks. That's over $10,000 in many cases. So what do you do? There's two steps for unemployment stimulus. Let's go over the two steps and the questions you need to know. Step one, file your claim with your Department of Unemployment. The date you were fired was, in this example, October 1st, 2022. Willing to work? Yes. Able to work? Done. Claim is approved on step one. Step two, ask for a weekly check for the weeks you were unemployed as a W-2 fired employee in October 1st. Those are, obviously, all the weeks of October, all the weeks of November, and all the weeks of December. Stop. In January, you got a new job, so you don't get anything after you got that brand new job. Pretty simple, right? So this is tens of thousands of dollars, and no one tells you about this whatsoever. No one teaches you about this. I've been teaching people unemployment stimulus on this channel for two and a half plus years. All they're going to be talking about in the next year is retail sales, firing, job freezes. They're not going to teach you how to get all these unemployment stimuluses. That's why I care about you. you go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Meantime, if you had children who had to stay home from school during the pandemic, you're still getting paid checks now in several states. This is PEBT checks, and they're absolutely wonderful. These are the only checks really which are just so delicious that it is state by state. But stimulus checks A to Q are all from the federal government government. Just wonderful. In the big second half, we're going to continue what we need to know about stimulus in the new year, 2023. We'll be looking at that consumer price index that was released this week. We'll be looking at the new week and guidance on what we'll see with recession. Two major banks reporting corporate earnings tomorrow, then Wednesday, a supply chain disruption with shippers. Thursday, Procter & Gamble, you know what they do, and Netflix as well. But minutes ago, we have the leader's of the economic forces meeting together at where? Lobster Fest 2023? No, it's not Lobster Fest 2023. The Casino? No, they're not there. Well, maybe they were tonight. <clears throat> it's in Davos, Switzerland. They're currently in Davos, Switzerland, and minutes ago they met and had their comments, and boy, what a big comment it was. Mainly concerning inflation. Inflation could be going away because of one element. I'll give you the hint. It's a country. Can you tell me which country it may be responsible for the end of global inflation? If you watch the afternoon show tonight, keep your mouth and fingers closed because I don't want you to give away the spoiler. But if you can figure this one out, which country may be responsible for the potential end of global inflation in the next 60 days. Oh, it's exciting. It has nothing to do with Jay Powell. It has nothing to do with the United States. It's coming a big second half. Plus, we're looking at what's going on with the markets. We'll be looking at where inflation is going and recession and more about these credible stimulus checks. From the shores of San Marco, California, there's a big broadcast, Purple Hawks, that's you. Have you become a member? Do it right now. Get that beautiful Purple Hawk emoji behind your name, because these are the checks that are landing in 2023. You gotta pounce to get them, and when you bounce, you're gonna clean up. Stay informed, stay focused, and be back with me in 60 seconds as LA Live continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. 
The excitement starts on Mornings LL8 at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now as the markets are looking to rally tomorrow based on all the events that are happening right now overseas. It is huge, and it's a lot of it. The global financial markets are having their biggest leaders meeting right now today, Monday, MLK Day holiday in Davos, Switzerland. And tomorrow, corporate earnings are coming on in. And let's go over all those incredible details right now and right tonight. On Tuesday, Goldman Sachs, the major bank, will report corporate earnings for the final quarter of 2022. Morgan Stanley also reports those corporate earnings tomorrow as well. Do not miss a recording on this channel tomorrow, Tuesday. United Airlines will also report. Wednesday is a supply chain disruption player. Jamie Hunt, the shipper, reporting corporate earnings. And Procter & Gamble, consumer staples like butter and jelly and peanut butter at all at issue when we see those numbers coming on in. Soap and detergent as well. Netflix, interesting. And then Friday, SLB. What do we currently have coming in right minutes ago? So we have the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, saying that the U.S. economy will endure at least a mild recession. We have Bank of America's head, Moynihan, saying much the same. And this comes on the news of that CPI that was released just days ago. The Consumer Price Index gauges inflation in this U.S. economy. The last report came in just a few days ago for December 2022, 6.5% across the board. Year-to-date, growth for inflation. Monthly, went up. Core, 5.7, went up. And the MTD also went up. That is the estimate, and the actual came in exactly as expected. Where were the component parts landing? These were the component parts. Food was up. Energy was down. New vehicles down. Used car vehicles down substantially. Apparel up. And shelter, which is 30% of the inflation report, rent up a lot again. And medical, interesting across the board. That is why... If you don't get inflation under control, then the U.S. economy may have more problems across the board. That's why you have to get as much stimulus as possible. So what do we have in the brand new comments coming in from Davos, Switzerland on MLK holiday this Monday? How are you? I hope you're having a beautiful evening. Those financial leaders met in Davos, Switzerland minutes ago and said the following. They believe inflation may be eradicated in just a few months because of China. Wow. Sound familiar? It should. In spring of 2022, I said the U.S. economy would suffer 8% inflation and it would not go away because it's being caused by supply chain disruption, especially China, and because of the problems with the economy across the board. Until you get supply chain disruption under control and gasoline prices lower the main two culprits to cause inflation in the first place, it's not going to go away. And I said raising inflation, raising interest rates at the Federal Reserve will not solve inflation if you still have supply chain disruption. What is supply chain disruption? When the pandemic was over, we did not have enough shippers, truckers, to get the products from A to Z. From the, sh from the manufacturer to you, from the farm to you. And how do suddenly the shipping costs went up and everyone absorbed those shipping costs, especially you. Grocery stores charged you more money, they were charged more money, and this was all because of supply chain disruption. It started to ease in the weeks after the lockdown, but then it started to pick up again as China went on to a 2023 lockdown because of COVID. Once China lifted restrictions on COVID just a few days ago, this is their 2023 COVID, then there was new hope. And that new hope was manifest in comments minutes ago out of Davos, Switzerland, where they say China, that's the answer to that question on this broadcast, China will likely be the solution for inflation in 2023, namely going back to normal for supply chain disruption. They believe that the inability to get those products from A to Z, and especially as the problems in China continue to grow, may finally be 
solved. Wow. Let's look at those comments minutes ago. This is out of Davos, Switzerland, where OECD Secretary General Matthias Korman said this Monday that China's reopening is overwhelmingly positive. We certainly are very much welcome to the easing of COVID restricted restrictions in China. Over the short term, it'll come with challenges, but let's go to the economic impact of it. But over the medium to long term, this is very much a positive in terms of making the supply chain function more efficient, making sure that demand and indeed trade resume in a positive pattern. One of the main drivers of inflation was very much the supply chain disruption and shock related to global supply not being able to keep up with global demand as swiftly as was required, said Corman minutes ago. And so China coming back into the global market in an earnest and supply chain functioning more efficiently will help bring inflation down. Congratulations. So this is why you learn to earn on LA, because I told you in spring of 2022, the reason for inflation was gasoline and China, Just gasoline and supply chain disruption, gasoline and shippers, gasoline and truck drivers. Supply chain disruption and gasoline prices cause inflation. Now the gasoline prices are the lowest type of the entire year. What remained? The supply chain disruption, and it got worse when China went back onto COVID lockdown in 2023. Now that it's off of it, here you have the OECD Secretary General saying inflation may finally be going away. Wow, what a big recording this is tonight. Congratulations. Finally, we can celebrate. And do I agree? Absolutely agree. I agree. We all understand, because I recorded this over the last two years, why we had inflation. Supply chain disruption, gasoline prices. Gasoline prices are now low, but we still had some elements of supply chain disruption, namely China back on lockdown in the last few weeks. Now that the awful lockdown, says OEC Secretary General, inflation could finally be going away. Great news. Now, inflation is different than recession. And we have two bank heads finally confirming my reporting for over a year about recession. In spring of 2022, I was the only American broadcast to record that the U.S. economy would suffer a recession for two years that would start in February 2023 and be broadly felt. I had predicted that the recession would be unlike the prior two. The first one was for the bank savings and loan debacle. The second one was for technology. I said this would be for all walks of life low-income, middle-class, upper-class across the board, all U.S. states, all U.S. territories, and international. Heads of banks like J.B. Diamond and J.B. Morgan Chase and Moynihan and Bank America in 2022 refused to use the recession. They were very cautious about using the word. They said things like storms off to sea and vague expressions. But in the last 48 hours, they have both confirmed that the U.S. economy will at least, that's the key words, at least suffer a mild recession. Mild, they did not define in either length or impact but for me to you, what is my prediction? The same as it's always been. Doesn't matter if you're low income, middle class, or upper class, you're going to feel a recession. That recession starting less than 30 days away. It'll be two years. It'll affect U.S. states and U.S. territories. It'll affect different industries and different magnitudes and different states and different magnitudes. But it'll affect everyone, unlike the prior two recessions. And that's why I have to prepare accordingly. Ironically, my predictions on this channel over the last two years have always come true and have always been consistent. I had said the U.S. economy would suffer inflation, not go away at 8%, and that 8% inflation would be around for over a year. Where is it tonight? Hasn't really improved. Inflation came in at 8% in December 2021, when I predicted it uh, earlier that year, 20, early 2021. And by December 2022, where was, in, where was that inflation? Let's look at the breaking news tonight. It's this. The Consumer Price Index, which gauges what you pay for goods, York inflation for December 2022 was released just days ago, 6.5% year-to-date YTD. It shows it has not improved much at all in one year, from 8 to 6.5. Month-to-date, still going up, 0.1%. Let's look at the products, the industries, food up, energy down, new vehicles down, used car vehicles down a lot, apparel surprisingly up. Shelter rent still up. This is a big problem. Rent is 30% of inflation, 30% of the CPI. And if rent still keeps on going up 1% every month, we could have big problems. And medical services, there you go. That is why this week's numbers are critical. We want to see year-end guidance from Procter & Gamble. That'll give us indication if they think the consumer is not there to buy the products. Is the inflation hurting the bottom line? Goldman. What about the credit card debts? 
Are Americans carrying credit card debts more than they were 30 days ago, which was the highest in a generation? And are they not paying the debts? Are they carrying over month to month? At a month ago, they were carrying the long-term credit card debts even longer than expected. Morgan, what about the spending ability of the, of the consumer and the credit worthiness? Are savings gone or savings being depleted? We had heard indication from Jamie Dimon at, at J.P. Morgan Chase that middle-class individuals, their savings accounts may be gone if it's nothing that changes across the board. And other people at KPMG say no, low-income, their savings accounts are already gone. So that's why these CPI numbers are so critical across the board tonight. Now, let's look at the other details we're looking at left and right, which are brand new this evening for a gorgeous January 16th. It's important that when you're looking at this economy, when you're looking at stimulus, that you have to understand the track record and the path of comments before that. Anthony Scaramucci and Kathy and Kathy Wood are next up. So Anthony Scaramucci, who you may remember from the Trump administration, a brilliant guy for Bitcoin, all last year said that cryptocurrency would rally up throughout the entire 2022. It did not. He said that Bitcoin was going to go to 100,000 by the end of the year. It did not. At one point, I said that as well, but then I retracted. And I said, no, Bitcoin is going to end around at 12,000. It's going to collapse. And tonight, it has not gone to either. It's not gone to 12,000. It's not gone to 100,000. But here's Scaramucci speaking minutes ago. Scaramucci now believes that crypto will continue to rally. Let's look at his comments and look at some other comments that all came in from Davos, Switzerland overnight. So here's Bill Tile, Ty, who's a crypto veteran. He tells news minutes ago, he thinks there's more downside, but I don't think a lot. So he thinks the market's going to go even worse. He said there's a chance that Bitcoin may have bottomed here, but it may fall as low as 12,000 before jumping up. Do I agree? Absolutely. I've used that 12,000 number before. We have Melham Demetrios at CoinShares speaking minutes ago saying it could fall to 15,000, 20,000, and then uh, not go much higher for the rest of this year. Interesting. And then we have the comments coming from Scaramucci. He says it's going to potentially reach uh, 50,000 to 100,000 in the next two to three years. Well, wait a second, Anthony. You said that for this year, all this year, and you said for last year, all last year. You've been saying $100,000 last year, this year, and now you're saying it's for three years. You don't get to roll over your prediction if it doesn't come true. If you say 100,000 for Bitcoin by 2022, it doesn't happen. And then you say for 23 to 23, it doesn't happen. Then you don't keep on rolling it over. This is what Kathy Wood does with Tesla. She says six months, one year, five years, <laughs> uh, sometime in the, in the galaxy. Don't get to do that. If you're wrong, just admit you're wrong and just move on. And don't just sort of re-justify your, uh, your incorrect prediction and say, you know, well, it's a good long-term buy. Well, you didn't say long-term originally. You didn't say hold it for five years. So you said, this is the six-month projection. And that is why it's so important to listen carefully to broadcast. Tonight, America is celebrating because 2023 is a huge year for stimulus. It's a combination of 2020, 2021, and 2022 stimulus, all law, all passed. And the way that stimulus originally started in 2020 was the EIDL grant. Did you get the EIDL grant originally? Jump in the live chat. EIDL, yes or no. Did you get the EIDL loan? Yes or no. Did you get the PPP? PPP, yes or no. Did you get any of those massive instruments in 2020? Well, I got people big sums of money at the time. $200,000, $300,000 at the time. People listened and learned really carefully because everything was very fundamental at the time. Here's an example. The EIDL loans. My viewers listened and learned and they were offered $150,000 all the time. And I said, be careful taking $150,000 because if it's over $25,000, it's collateralized. And immediately I taught them what collateralization is. It means you have to, your working capital would be collateral if you don't pay the money back. It's a loan. That was a loan. And they said, oh, I'm not going to do that. I said, what's the threshold? I said, it's $25,000. So do $24,900. You have no idea how many people took the 24,900, exactly as I had recorded. That's how you have to really listen and learn. King Reno had gotten his unemployment approved, his claim approved, but got no money. He said, how do I do this? What do I do wrong? You got to ask for weekly checks. 
This is 2020 back on, baby. Along those steps, 2020, you had to apply for stimulus. 2021, you had to apply for stimulus. 2022, the big stimulus was on this channel. You had to apply for it. You had to pounce. And along the way, some people got a measly $600, $200, five cent stimulus check by doing much of nothing. That's not how stimulus works. You got one check by doing much of nothing. It's a much of nothing check for doing much of nothing. It's a two-year recession, which is not much of nothing. It's two years. You got to do something to survive a real much of something two-year recession. And it starts by becoming a member. Welcome to nearly 100 brand new members who have joined this channel in the last 48 hours. Membership is on fire. Why? A couple reasons. One, you know the financial cliff is 30 days away. It's the start of the recession. Everyone's going to announce the recession in February 2023. Number two, everyone's going to understand there was a recession. They were told for over a year there's no recession. Now they're going to understand this recession. Number four, they're going to start to see the firings, the store closures, the lockdowns, excuse me, not lockdowns, the hiring freezes. They're always told there'll always be a job there for you. The, 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 they're always told by the boss, the company. The company's doing really well. Until they find out those holiday sales did not deliver good numbers. And that's why it's so important to always watch the second half of, of every broadcast on this channel. Because you may not own a business, but you may work at a business, your son or daughter. Or you may be dependent upon the business of your town doing well. And if they don't do well, your town's a ghost town. And that's why this week is so critical across the board. The recession will manifest itself in corporate earnings. The recession will manifest itself in unemployment numbers. The recession will manifest itself in financial calamities appearing left and right. And Goldman and Morgan report on Tuesday their corporate earnings for fourth quarter 2023. Banks will know more than anything else where that recession is broadly or softly felt. Of course, I am better than perhaps even them because I've been reporting this for over two years. A recession is starting in less than 30 days. Goldman and Morgan will tell us what are those credit card debts looking like. Are Americans carrying more debts than ever before? And are they not being able to pay them off? United Airlines. Well, travel and leisure is not going to be travel and leisure indefinitely because Americans are no longer going to be able to afford a $600 plane flight for one hour. That's going to erode very quickly. And J.B. Hunt. If the demand is not there to buy products, there will be no shipping. And there'll be no earnings for shippers. That'll manifest itself on Wednesday, potentially. Procter & Gamble, those goods, are they being sold or are they not being sold? That's the equation across the board. Let's go back into these incredible stimulus checks for 2023. I'm so excited about 2023 for so many reasons. Why? Because finally, all the different stimulus I have covered on this channel over the last three years are happening at the same time. I have stimulus for children. I have stimulus for small business owners, and I don't mean 10 cents in the, in the fountain. $260,000 if you had 10 employees. I have monster stimulus checks for SSI, monster stimulus checks for SSDI, monster stimulus checks for veterans. Over $200,000. Suddenly, all my different walks of life that are watching this channel have the ability to get monster stimulus at the most important time, the start of a two-year recession. Finally, you have done it so well. So do it even bigger and bolder than you've done it before. Go right on this video right now and become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, you know, VIP. Grab the password from the most recent post on your channel and take that password and put it into the password protected newsletter. Tell your friends and family to come on over to watch this channel because you know everyone's going to be hurting in 30 days from now. Finally, just a little bit of focus and a little bit of refocusing right tonight. You know, it's important to understand that this channel operates the same way it's always operated from day one. Me helping you get as much money as you can, and there's always a lot of different types of you. Whether you're a small business owner, whether you are on SSI, whether you're unemployed, whether you're a mom or a son, whether you have children, whether you don't have children, it's all about the caring at issue. Over the last three years, I've never really talked about successes, and recently, in the last 24 hours, someone posted a comment in the, in, the, in the comments, and it was held, and it did not post. But I thought about it, and it was fascinating what the person said. He must be very successful doing what he's doing. It has strange negative tone to it. Would you want me to be unsuccessful? Would you want the channel to be unsuccessful? Would you ever listen to someone that's unsuccessful at what they're doing? 
Would you ever listen to someone who told you to buy Bitcoin and there's no one else listening to him across the board? Would you ever listen to someone that's teaching you about recession, inflation, and no one else is listening to him except you? No, you would always want someone to be as successful as they can be because that means they're doing it correctly. So thank you for all your incredible nice comments over the last few days. You finally got some light in here. You notice the light? <laughs> the rain finally stopped. There's been miserable rain here in Los Angeles since November. Literally no light outside for days on end since December all the way up through the present. Hard to record when there's no natural light coming through the windows behind me. It's really hard to record. And you see me make adjustments accordingly because, boy, the migraines were horrible. We have a beautiful L. No, this hand. <laughs> beautiful L right here. We have a beautiful A back there. Uh, as Ann calls them, blinking lights. They are actually <laughs> to supplement the lack of natural light until today finally coming in back on this channel. To that viewer who said, he must be really successful doing what he's doing. LA is very successful. I never talk about the success of L.A., except telling you this is the number one most watched financial news channel for this subject matter. Number one for most watched in prime time for financial news. Thank you for making L.A. Live at 5 o'clock the most watched financial show in prime time. It's at new time slot. New time slot for L.A. Live at 5 o'clock, followed by evenings move back five, 30 minutes after at 5.30. There's a lot of success out there. Graham is successful. Kevin's successful. Jeremy's successful. I'm not going to say I'm any less successful than them or any more successful. It should not be a competition game. But I'm going to tell you, this channel's not two pennies in a fountain either, folks. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with a fountain either or two pennies. <laughs> I love a nickel. Isn't our pennies made out of nickel? It doesn't matter. Are you going to the Davos after party tonight at the casino? <laughs> Sir Loin is in Davos, Switzerland right now. He's running through the snow and tripping. And he's throwing the after party tonight at the Calcino Papa Party at Davos, Switzerland. It's had to have a lot of $12 ice cream. And Chris and Sneema and Joe Manchin are uh, in Davos. Will he invite them? I'm not making that up. They are in Davos. <laughs> they got invited and you did not. So feel the jealousy rip across this broadcast starting right now. But for the shores of San Marco, we're just getting started. The breaking news continues all this week long. Watch me tomorrow with those Goldman and Morgan and United Airlines corporate earnings. Get all this incredible stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused, do what you're doing. You're doing it so well. Keep on pouncing because these checks were passed for you and you deserve them. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a beautiful MLK Monday night.